Good morning from the village, one and all. Today is Pashud. Um, questions are a burden to others, and answers are a prison to oneself. And so it goes in the village of the Prisoner series from the 1960s, featuring Patrick McGoolan, where he's in this uh, prison sort of thing that has no walls and no bars and no prison cells. It's just an open village, but he can never escape. And the place is a constant uh, case of surveillance and uh, wondering who are the people, the inmates, and who are the guards, because you can't tell necessarily. And so, what uh, was happening, though, when the series came out, not many people understood it. But as we move into the surveillance society of the 21st century, it's now becoming all too clear. And, um, in America, some people talk about the rights of privacy, but in the American Constitution, there's no right of privacy. Uh, the rights of the people to privacy shall not be violated or anything like that. It's never been written, which apparently some people have interpreted or interpreted the absence thereof of meaning it's fine and dandy to put cameras everywhere. Even in my living room. Or on the expressway, for example, on the highway. You're going down, every quarter mile there's a camera photographing you. And probably also a radar. And if your speed is out of compliance, your picture will be taken, your license plate picture will be taken, and an amount deducted from your checking account or debit account or whatever. In the sense of the Constitution, calling for a speedy trial, this meets the criteria. In terms of due process, I'm not so sure. And that's kind of what I'm getting at, is uh, surveillance, privacy, uh, and due process. Um, the cameras are not just on the highways. They're in all of the um, stores. <laughs> There is your employer. They're everywhere. They're in the sky. Um, here is a picture of me in the garden taken from Google World. Um, the, the eye in the sky is everywhere. And that was nice. I was in the garden. And as you can see, and it's like nothing is private anymore. How much can they see? I mean, that's the quality of picture they let us have, and it's absolutely incredible. So the good stuff would be something uh, even more uh, inspiring, uh, frightening. You choose the word. But I would just like to get um, your perspective on uh, due process, on the right of privacy, and should justice be instant? At some point, they're going to want to put some kind of tag on people, you know, like an RFID tag. And then um, when you purchase things, it'll just be walking in and out of the store with the item, and the RFID tags and everything will perform the fund transfer seamlessly. And anything else you do will be caught by means of the tag tracking you. Is that something you want? At some point, they may have an interface to make sure that you will be a law-abiding citizen. That Why would anybody want the choice to be bad? So they would just simply do something to modify your behavior. Maybe something in your chromosomes. Maybe something in your foods, or your water, or your drinks or your medication. So, I'm just wondering, uh, is there any more room for free will? And who decides what should or shouldn't be illegal? I mean, the case of justice uh, 
seems to be going to the extreme in these days of either there is none in the case of um, well, use your imagination, and in the case of other people, like you're on the highway driving, it's instantaneous, instant justice. <laughs> How do you think that? So um, I thought I'd bring it up for discussion. And please rate and comment below. Thank you. Be seeing you.